What's up, Tech Gang? Stefan here from TechRite. Today, we're going to be talking about the five best and five worst things about the LG Stylo 5. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so if you've been watching for a second, especially my LG Stylo 4 content, I've been doing this type of series. It's kind of a long-running series on my channel. I did it with a few other phones, but today we have the LG Stylo 5. Now I'm actually going to just start off with the 5 best, and the first one is it actually has a stylus. Now when looking for a phone, especially for Metro by T-Mobile or any other prepaid network, this phone is one of the cheapest phones you can find with a stylus. Now, there are a lot of other phones out there that don't have the correct bands and they do have a stylus, but this actually has a stylus and this is definitely not going to break the bank. This is not a phone like the Note 10, the Note 10 Lite that actually just released um, that costs $1,000. So this is a fairly affordable device unlocked and a very affordable device at a prepaid carrier. So definitely a very good choice if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money and that comes with the stylus. Now the next best thing about this phone is the display. Now this is a full HD display so this is going to be 1920 by 1080 p I believe this is an 18 by 9 aspect ratio uh, but video games, movies, um, watching shows on here is definitely a pleasing experience and it just looks really really good at 1080p especially since some of you actually got this phone for free. It's great to have a free phone that has a 1080p screen because a lot of these prepaid carriers give away phones for free that are 720 or even less so has a very good display now the next best thing about this phone has to be the dts surround sound audio right here now as you guys see it says you have to connect an audio device to actually utilize this but once you actually connect a bluetooth audio device or maybe use the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack thank you lg for keeping that uh, you can actually utilize DTS 3D surround sound audio. Now this audio is absolutely amazing. It sounds very, very good, just like any other premium device. Um, LG is very good with their audio, you know, as far as like their DACs go in some of their other devices like the LG G5, LG G6, they have some quad -ac audio. This has 3D surround sound audio, so your gaming experience, your movie watching experience, and everything else is actually going to sound really, really good on here. Uh, and we also have that 3.5 millimeter head jack, as I said before, that a lot of companies are taking away uh, here in 2020. But it's great to see that the LG Stylo 5 still has that, and hopefully the LG Stylo 6 will have that as well. Now, the fourth best thing about this phone has to be NFC. Now, yes, we see a few phones with NFC, especially in the mid range. And and, uh, you know, maybe the Galaxy A20 and a few other devices that are coming from the higher end of budget to mid-range. But this device you can get free at Metro by T-Mobile right now. You can get an unlocked variant for about 200 and something dollars. I think 250 currently right now. And it comes with NFC. So you guys can actually use Google Pay, which is awesome to see on here. So NFC definitely has to be my fourth best thing about this phone. Now the fifth best thing about this phone definitely has to be the price and I mentioned this earlier in the video but the price is right on this device. Now if we're talking about an unlocked device I definitely wouldn't go for the Stylo 5 but if we're talking about like carriers like Metro by T-Mobile but you guys can actually get this phone 100% free if you switch from Cricut Wireless or any other competing brand that goes against T-Mobile. It can't be under T-Mobile's brand. Um, but yeah, Metro by T-Mobile is giving this phone away for free. So that is really, really cool. Very affordable device, and you guys get some decent specifications for the free device. Now we are going to be talking about the dreaded cons about this phone. Now these are the five worst things that I don't like about this phone. Now I am not bashing on this phone, but if you guys did get this unlocked, this is more for the unlock side. But if you got this phone for free, you really can't complain about any of these. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Definitely put in the comments down below. But I feel like this is for the people who bought the unlocked version of this phone. Now first and foremost, the stylus location. Um, again, they they actually fixed it this year a little bit, and I appreciate that LG. But I feel like the stylus location should have been flush to the body, or it should have been a pen pop. You actually have to go out uh, and take your fingernail in there and pull it out like that. Um, and take out the stylus that way. I wish it would have been flush to the body instead of actually just inside the 
phone like that but um you know you live and learn and hopefully they will have a pen pop feature or have it flush to the body like the stylo 3. now the second worst thing about this phone definitely has to be the scratchable back this is a very very scratchable back and i know what you're gonna say um you know you utilize a case most of the time but for people who don't have money to buy a case i know it's cheap but some people don't want to buy a case or they don't have the money to buy a case and they pinch every penny this is definitely not one of the best backs on a phone and i'll show you some of the scratches right now so as you guys see i darken it a bit but these are all mini scratches all on the back of the device so these are all scratches now as you guys see the huge scratch right there scratches everywhere now thankfully this isn't super super visible to everybody uh, to see because this is a white back and a lot of people got the pink back as well but if you guys have a dark back is going to be very very visible uh, again you can put a case on it but i think that these plastic backs on these phones or polycarbonate backs just really aren't doing it for me and they scratch too easily as you guys see a cluster of scratches right there now the third worst thing about this phone definitely has to be the speaker now this is something i feel like people complain on uh, a lot in my comments so let's go ahead and show you guys the speaker just in case you guys haven't heard it before it is a very very tinny speaker and this is actually not a stereo speaker it is a mono speaker so we have one speaker at the bottom of the device and i'm hoping they change it on the stylo 6 but let's go ahead and turn this on So as you guys heard, that is kind of a tinny mess right there. Um, you know, the Galaxy A20, the A50, they have better speakers. Um, and if you guys don't care about the stylus, again, definitely go ahead and pick up the A20. I feel like that's a better choice if you guys are at Metro by Team Mobile. Definitely go ahead and pick up that A20. But just too much of a weak speaker. I'm hoping on the Stylo 6 we do have a stereo speaker, though. Now the fourth con about this phone has to be the Snapdragon 450 processor. Now I'm sure you guys have heard me say this in other videos, but the Snapdragon 450 was in the last year's device, so the Stylo 4 had the Snapdragon 450, and hopefully the Stylo 6 does not have the Snapdragon 450, because I would be super, super mad. Honestly, with the Stylo 5, I was kind of looking for a Snapdragon 635 or a 600 series processor. Now, um, I'm hoping we get that in the Stylo 6, as we've said before, but the processor just isn't powerful enough to, um, you know, have games run with no lag. So, definitely want to go ahead and bump up that that and uh, if we can actually bump up the ram a little bit too that'd be great but three gigabytes of ram on this phone wasn't too bad so honestly i could take that again that's that's decent but the processor definitely needs to be bumped up because this is a very very old processor and the last gripe about this phone or the last worst thing about this phone is this is essentially the same phone as last year with a few different things now the only thing that was bumped up was the ram and we got one more gigabyte of ram uh, we got a tiny design change uh, but this is essentially the stylo 4 um, we have the same um, we have the same display we have 1080p display we have NFC DTS 3d surround sound audio um, same processor same body style it's actually really hard to find things that are different between the stylo 4 and stylo 5 which is why there's an ongoing joke saying this is the stylo 4.5 or the stylo four and a half or whatever but yeah guys that was my five best and five worst things about the style of five if you guys do have anything else definitely put it in the comments down below i would like to see what you guys have to say about this device do you guys have this device do you guys use this device on the daily definitely tell me in the comments down below but if you guys did enjoy this video definitely leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you're not part of the tech gang already also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time i do upload a new video this has been safan from tech right peace out tech gang